As Russia's war machine rages across Ukraine, the verbal offensive coming from Moscow is no less powerful. President Putin issued a clear warning to Western powers, saying any attempt to create a no-fly zone over Ukraine would be considered a direct military involvement in the conflict against Russia. Now we are hearing that a no-fly zone must be established over the territory of Ukraine. It is impossible to do so over the territory of Ukraine itself. It is possible only from the territory of some neighboring countries. But any move in this direction will be viewed by us as a participation in the armed conflict. Putin made it clear he wants Ukraine to have a neutral status in the power balance between NATO and Russia. This, he says, requires a demilitarized Ukraine, because its Western backers are intending to supply it with nuclear weapons if not stopped. They will arm those systems, and from that second on, from that very second, Russia's fate will be very different because then our strategic enemy won't even need intercontinental ballistic missiles. They will have us at gunpoint right here. How can we overlook that? Putin said everything is going according to plan in Ukraine, and his army will achieve all of its objectives. His foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, had some harsh words for the Ukrainian president. If Zelensky is so unhappy with NATO not interfering, then that means he's hoping to resolve this conflict by involving NATO. It means he's not hearing statements from European capitals saying they won't get involved. It means he wants to provoke a conflict between NATO and Russia. Perhaps the most challenging issue for Russia right now is the economic measures the West is imposing. In this regard, President Putin says Western sanctions are akin to a declaration of war on his country. Foreign Minister Lavrov has warned of consequences and singled out the UK in particular. He says Moscow's response to the sanctions will without doubt hurt British interests in Russia because, in his words, the UK has chosen to move towards a direct confrontation with his country. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.